Grouped up. And even with, a the split. even with the double smoke comp, Brent, not putting a smoke down in mid there. Yeah. Not giving the idea that they're going for the A split. Jorgamo almost caught off. Yeah. Catching it. Quite a bit of damage actually off of that one. Berlin lucky to be alive, but they're going to be getting the first section of the A site. It's going to be theirs. What a lovely now crowd. Nana Swarms. Bustio still anchoring towards the back. No one really swinging to deal with him. They just can't. Too many Nana Swarms at the floor, at the feet, yet still FPX coming up with the goods. Two kills their way. Plenty of damage done to the players though. They are quite weak and there's a shock dart. Finishing off Ayang. So close to the corner, Lysaw. Oh, well, they're not going to expect this one. Still up close onto the heaven angle. Jorgamo does not win his fight out. Team of one brought down. He's Tucked only going to take a duel, line. though, against Nishard, yeah. essentially. Plenty of noise being made, though. Com spraying him down as they're just running it down all the way through. But Jorgamo, well, he stays alive here into A main, holding this space as well. FPX make a call to try and flip the map, but they've stopped themselves just ever so slightly. The smoke's really just. Stopping it, now they need to work out what they want to do. 40 seconds remaining, they do have some time to work with, but it's going to be running short in just a moment. Team 1 still seeking to contain. You can see him just watching that angle deep. 30 seconds left. Mid. They know the potential positionings here. Team 1 will be able to see them crossing. Yeah, we can hear it as well. Dash active, brought down. Great shot. Wonderful stuff from Ayang. Set the Seekers on them as well. It's going to be good positioning, at least noted. Do they know Bustio's there? Slight misstep with the flash. There's only 12 seconds left. They don't get onto the side. It's Bustio who denies them that chance. Really down to the minute mark. It hasn't really been much else movement. It's a reclearance. It's caught by EG with a paranoia. Sets him up. Tagging onto Aang, but it doesn't matter. Team 1 still wins his fight out. Left down to 9 health. What's the response? Not too much else. Still contact plays here. Working themselves up towards Cat. FPX. For the 2 2 split, but EG still have players anchoring down, locking it down, rooted in place almost. There's a KO nade pushing them even further away. Time is really running short, and there is chaos in the mix. Lysor through the smoke. What kind of timing do you really want to take here? Waiting for the stars to be dropped down. There it is in front of them, but Jorgamo contained. Still brought down. Ethan is there with a trade. At the backside of Jenny, spikes out in the open with 23 seconds left, looking for information. Buying time is a 3 2 1 face. Oh, and oh, it's gonna have a Hunter's Fury, Fury right behind it, yep. As soon as the dart it was broken, that's the trigger. And Com's consistent with it, lets it loose. Up in mid, Demon 1. Of course, he's gonna be finding it, but does he expect that? Oh! Goal! There's no shot! <laughs> it's just filthy! Slight minor adjustment, another day in the office for Demon 1. Listen, he had a bit of a rough beginning to the map, but okay, he's warming up. And think about how perfectly timed this investment of ultimates and uh, in general just to play with the op going aggressive and the Hunter's Fury being used to halt this economy. FPX had just got a buy up. They're in a 4v5 instantly off the back of comms play and Dima 1 is picking apart the rest of FPX with ease. This is what EG did so well on their run towards Tokyo. They took one advantage and spiraled it. Folks lay it down here, but here's the lockdown in play. It's going to be really clearing out most of the site. There has to be a call and a decision made by FBX. Do you choose to fight this one or not? A bit of confusion in the mix. They are really just staying grounded onto it. A bit of a dodge there from Berlin. Uses the ult, and he's still able to just sit himself into hell, but he needs to create more of a distraction. It's a triple face. EG, there's fundamentals still reigning true, but they haven't cleared out B main still. Tree and door needs to be watched for. Com brings it down, but still a smoke. Ethan sticking it. There's not enough damage. And he's not pushed away from it. Round win for EG. Will they keep their guns till the bitter end? At lock in. And in the events prior. Knives out, Demon 1. You're really trying to take that. There's no coverage. Not from the bottom section of mid. A push out through main. Will they deal with these players? EG are crumbling. It's Com. It's the last player left standing. And they know exactly where he is. Hey, I'm feeling it, man. In the first half. It's Demon 1 with the operator once more. Another setup here with the Hunter's Fury. Something triggered it. Demon 1 trying to set himself up <laughs> through with the chaos. The Hunter's Fury does cleave. And in the meantime, one. your IGL Omen is swinging with the attack side operator. <laughs> of course he is. Uh, just Berlin things. He's backing away now, though, with the spike. The rest of his team pushing themselves up into four positions here. That A main control. He's how still holding on to it. So finally regrouping. Is there a rifle for Berlin? I feel like you don't want an op in this scenario, but we'll see what he can do with it. They certainly had enough 
cash to be able to <laughs> give him a rifle as well as the operator. But I don't know whether they did. Here we go. Smoke's dropped down now. One at a choke point, Bustio. What kind of timing do you choose to take it? There's an alarm bot at your feet. It's broken. He anticipated it. Somebody was creeping up onto that corner. Jorgamo to reposition with the TP. Needs some help though. Bustio through the smoke. Taking the fight right to it. Not enough to reset to claim that second. Jorgamo. He's still alive, anchoring towards the back, but he's fired shots off now, just creating a bit of distraction. The rest of his team helping him out, but Com is brought down. Time needs to be bought here. I mean, Jorgamo's already deep into the site. Ethan's not there with him. And it's brought into this 1v1, Ethan. Consistency laid bare. 60% of the time on attack and less than 50% on defense. So, so there's still with the great Utah. chances. Yeah, flash and dart to clear most of it, but doesn't clear the players up into heaven. There's a high-low setup down below, but they're not winning the fights out. It's EG. Coming out on top. And this one's going to be extremely difficult for the two Smokes players, Nisha and Berlin, to be able to get back in on. One paranoia, maybe a, a stun or a pull, but Berlin goes in ahead of Nisha. Trying to make something happen. And this looks like an extremely clean pistol. Yeah, very clean. Kind of response I think you'd probably want. You're a fan of North America time. He's all the way through into tree. Smoke dropped down and a dash forwards. Crosshair, uh, crosshair placement, excuse me. Cut up for the moment. There's going to be a pull through the choke point, but is it too late? It might just be still players into the site. You call from heaven. He's eventually traded, but he's still doing the damage. Flash through, even just, again, blindly firing. And Lysor out in the open, getting his ankles broken. Jorgamo are not aware of this. 30 seconds left. It's going to be happening behind them. Team of one, he misses it. Back me and face to Aang. Flash round to the side here, and here's the players from the top section of mid. All of that deep flank. Team of one left to try and contain and push them back. Lysaw. Capitalizing off of it. Swinging in the midst of all of that, and time is running more than short right now. There's about 11 seconds left. They don't have control of A main. Don't have control of the site, and Aang dealing damage and a death and a blow. Nishao still in control of it. Into a deep four position into mid. Paranoia reclear. Lysol's got to back off now. Yeah, he's got to play around your util, but still Lysol's just holding his ground and he falls TP into the back Berlin. He does remove him. Jogmo's gone. Hunter's Fury though, there's a connection. There is the kill. Com is getting value from it. Shot missing. Demon one into mid. The Seeker's distracting him or one. Not too sure, but still it's a 2v3. BX could make something off this one. He's now just trying to play this one fast and loose as well, not waiting for any sort of timing. Spotted out though, there's a double face, Ayang! He's brought it down into a 1v1, and come Playing into main, Ayang. Still, he spotted him surely, just the edge of the gun, edge of the weaponry! Oh. Nails the shot! Ayang has just been incredible for FBX here. Flash. Didn't get deaded. Second one does though. Yeah, this has been slowed. Down to 35 seconds now. Bustio being pushed. Wow. What an angle to peek off the alarm box. Contact. Instantly responded. And meanwhile, it's a battle taking place on the other section of the map. But EG have no intention of going over towards A. Straight down mid. Right into Lysaw. The difference maker. The spikes drop down. It is carnage occurring. Damage definitely done. Lysaw needs to try and play for his life. Still, Yukoi's picked up the angle a little bit too late here. Paranoia out in the open. Lysol can't land the kill. 11 bullets and towards the backside of it. Ethan's there. Jorgamo collects. 12 seconds left, and they are going to be able to get this plant down. The site is open. Taeyang in a 1v2. The form has been good, but does not expect it. The positioning or reposition. Star still into the choke point. With this, yeah, no command comes through, and they are going to be able to get these, so look at that. Be the pull online, but they just wait it out. Berlin still anchoring towards the back, cannot use the util. Will the push come through? Demon one, I mean, he's just entering for them with the operator. The rifles will clean it up in the end. Shots hitting. Everybody on form right now for EG, and they can feel it. This is it. Precipice to try and take away map number one. Team hungry to get this done and over with just like that. And the one will be theirs. It's a 13-8 finish for EG. A credit to FBX, definitely pushing them. But that is FBX's, in theory, best map. And that's not bad either. The zero point actually does catch on to Eyang. Really makes it feel like there's a lot in A main Demon instead one. of Art. Plenty of players on the other side of this one. Trailblazer, that's going to be the trigger. Demon one gets out of there. He went back for the repeat. Yeah, he really did. One more kill and he's got his dash back. He wants even more! And they're gonna give it to him! Three kills. 
on for the ace. Spike drop down. Knows what knees how it is, but denies that chance. Still left in a two versus four. Aeyang now opting into just contacting, but Ethan with the jiggle. Doesn't want to give away too much, and yet calls the peak timing together. And the backstab is on its way. There it is. In the footsteps now, wants to take the fight to its shutdown. Aeyang, that is nasty. It's hard to hit that. The jumping jet gliding through the air. Plug Steamer 1 out of the sky. There's a re-clear called, it looks like, by EG into main. Leaves it really just up to Ethan to clear into the connector. I like this idea, but also FPX slowing things down. It's a great call by Berlin. Even a trailblazer now to clear the space out. He otherwise wouldn't have. Dog broken. I don't know if it cleared Tom. Not too aware of this one. Another paranoia, really. These hey, main players are really finding it difficult to just get through this one. Maybe a bit of counter spam in order still at BX, you core! Oh, yeah. Finding all sorts of kills. Bustio. I'll have to try and play this retake. Just the marshal. So unlikely, and yeah, the rifles sailing FPX through quite. Now the dog pushing through, you can hear again the rumbling of the footsteps forwards. Com shocked up, good damage done, but already the dash forwards to get themselves into the site here. FBX looking to see if they can land some shots, get some kills. Yuko walking right into them. CG really just being handed these kills here. Bustio. It was alone and isolated towards the back of the site. There is chaos created when the smokes are propped up like this. Yet Ayang, great chance for him to really do some damage into the back lines there, but no, brought down in the middle of it still. Spike retrieved, a tap onto it. Again, trying to force that reaction out, but just Lysol walking right into the nade. Opens it out, and Demon 1, he's feeling crispy. Timings and positioning. I mean, the consistency is off the charts of that guy. Demon 1 taking a gander into mid as Yukor, who's favored, rips the head clean off. Goodbye to the Jet adversary. And now they're slowing it down again. I quite like this look. You're forcing a response out of EG now that they're a player down. And the response is to reclear A once more. Ethan still has a flash, but Aeyang's going to take contact earlier. Ethan wins the fight out. Aeyang with potential there to win that one, but now it's still it's a 4v4 Cross point. So reaping Ethan, he knows that there's a chance that they've but again, that space out towards it. Flash not quite connecting. Still, they want to take the fights towards it. The spacing not good enough. Jorgamo. Oh, he's just beamed them all down where they stand. The spike dropped down. The late lurk of Lysor. Won't be getting too much more value. There's a jump spot. Just try and force one of these fights through the wall. Follow the traces, and you'll be guided right to a kill. Not a lot of time, though. Jorgamo. How's he finding these, man? Grouped up and now starting to make a bit more noise here with a dog into the back, Jorgamo. He's weaving in and out of these smokes. Pops up on top of the half wall. He's not scared at all. Being dissuaded there, Ethan. He lets rip the no command. No abilities able to be used here. Com is quite far forward. I mean, this angle is unusual. But it should get traded if FPX play this one together. These out doesn't know where he is. He was looking the other way. And Korm just removes two of them. One more avenue. Not to be worried about. Paranoia on top of the pull at their feet. Nobody can get past this choke point. And Ichi are really putting the dampener on any sort of sight hit. Still FPX having a few of these shots. And there's still 30 left. seconds left to make something happen. It is a two versus two. Even alone. Only for now, though. Team of one. Rapidly approaching the position to try and help him out. Ethan doesn't know where he is. Here's the TP flash. Dodge to the side, and that's a spike. Down a. And not far enough forward here. Just watching for it. Flash not connecting. Popping around the side, but taking far too much damage. That is 7 2 1. To hold this down. Yeah. It's a massive, There's four players ready. Massive to rotation, this. isn't it? Yeah. EG is just more than ready still. Can you be ready for you, Core? Berlin. Combine mine of them. Here's the Hunter's Fury to try and push them back inside the smoke, trying to take that timing through the chaos and the confusion. Com finds three. The Hunter's Fury beams right down, but a util out in his hands. My man's playing a different game. He doesn't have the gun out. Leaves it to the 1v1. Bustio versus Knees How. And the repositioning. Bustio almost anticipating it here. Out towards the side, is the crosshair placement going to be good? Out into the open, shots missing, but finally it is there. And Already, the zero point spots people in A main, they know that it's not fake presence from FBX. 
Lockdown used. Ethan sprinted his way over, and Demon won once more. I mean, he is so close to this corner. There are many players waiting for them. Can they anticipate it? Two ripped away, and you caught. Let's get the trade in time, but this is still desperation for FBX. Finally making their move across, but tagged up by the drone. Ethan, it's an absolute fire and range for him, and the rest of EG, look at it. All the util in the world, enough to set them up for a slam dunk finish. Now, the Cosmic Divide in particular. There's a lockdown, though, to slow down the approach. Anything to break this one. I mean, the Killjoy utility has already just slowed them down to a cruel Berlin. Going for the plan out wide. No control of any other areas of the map. The Cosmic Divide is perfect. Splits it up. Detainment online here. And EG now setting themselves up for this reflank attempt. Double pushed up together. There's a flash on top of it. Jorgamo, would he anticipate it? No. With the reset, this guy is just phenomenal right now. He's feeling it. And more still. It is just up to him. It's a 1v2 while all this was happening in Ayang. Presence in that area, okay? Berlin is just using his ultimate there to clear the way for Nisha to take a main. Seekers as well on top of it. It's all layered up. Com. He's going to be spotted out here. Yeah, the Seekers, I believe. No, not quite latching onto him. He's just trying to spray Lysor all the way through. Demon 1 over the top. Updraft. A flash in play. Everybody blinded up. Going for another bite of the apple. Demon 1 is feeling it. In precise form. Close to the corner here. There has to be that reposition. Ayang with a back to it, man. Maybe expecting. But the site was clear, the Cosmic Divide did break this one up entirely. Dash forwards, who knows what's going on this side across the board, but Demon One still landing it with the Blade Storm. Left up to knees out. Damage definitely being pull. done, yeah. No pull, only the stun. Connects there, Ethan already getting half. Has to get off of it, stunned up, and knees out, collects. There's your clutch. And Drone's going to get that tag as well on the deep angle here. You caught. They know his position's there. It looks like EG are opting in to try and fight this one. Uh oh. Plenty of presence here, but Berlin's close to the corner, just spamming it out, anticipating that reswing, and they have the util to clear them out of the positions, flushing them out. Really good utility usage there from Com and from Ethan. But coming back. You can tell that EG have a great idea about what their protocols want to be. And so much damage being done there. Demo one. How is he finding that? I mean, wasting bullets in the moment for the disrespect. You're kidding me, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you think he's going up against Fnatic in the final? <laughs> Someone in the crowd not happy about that as well. <laughs> yeah, not surprised. Close though. Aang. That flash is very good. And almost enough for the reset to claim the other kill. And his how he's been set up. Potentially for success, it's a 1v2. They don't know his reposition of this one and this plan. Yeah, out in the open with enough damage done. Demon 1 will fall. And he's out. Left alone. Going down there to Jorgamo. Can he win this pistol round? Out. Not a tap, a full stick. Jorgamo going for that plan. Oh. Lands it. Only emphasis placed into mid. You can see a flash lineup. Ethan, that's going to go straight into double doors. Shock dart close. Clears out, I believe. He really lamb on a nano swarm. I saw trying to replace it right in his face. There it is, the paranoia. Beautiful work from FBX. That is very fast in terms of the response. They have crunched the mid approach almost instantly. And with that, the spike dropped down. It's calm, left in an impossible scenario. The task ahead of him. Good luck. Not a particularly winnable 1v4 with the spike down. I, I, I like the idea from EG, actually. It falls completely flat on its face. But usually you're going to see the defending player there back off instead of step into the fight. And that was the perfect response to deal with Team <laughs> 1. <laughs> no thought of even no, checking spawn. No, 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 no. Not even no. a thought in A Young's head. No, oh, no, good no, God, no, no, no. On the no. big stage. You didn't need to do it. Speaking of which, Nisha on his own towards A. That's where the rest of EG are gathering up at 4v4. Right here. Oh, Spike. Perhaps not. Second guess themselves a little bit, yeah. I mean, just sending in the dart, it got broken. Now running all the way back over towards B. There's still Util waiting to be used here. Another star drop down. So Jorgen was going to be probably using this to recall and pass. Covering it. Just to the side, yeah. And you can see pings coming out here. I'm expecting Com to use his Hunter's Fury. You can see him setting up for it. Yeah, it's going to clear all those corners as this push starts to come through. Now right into action, into the fray. Nana Swarms drop down on top of it. Hunter's Fury, good connection with the kill. But Aang's still alive. Into the back section of Halls. The Seekers let rip as well just to buy a bit of time out in the open. Ethan does not get off that. And time now is really against them. Down to the final 11 seconds out into the open with the dog. Hot on the heels of Com. It sets up the easy fight here.
Nishao and Ayang are about to take a fight. Yeah, go back into position. I'm, I'm not sure they're ready online. for this. I mean, Ayang's holding the flash off of whose contact, though. Maybe a form of utility. Nishao, close to the corner, finds it. There's a flash. It's impeccable. Perfect. Damage is there. Absolutely perfect. EG were not ready for it. Just walked left. straight into the trap setup. Lovely idea from FPX. Oh, Taking that space and setting up the trap. I'm All just based off Yuko having the control of B-Long. Yeah, at this point you just got to save this rifle. FPX have done enough here. The legwork, the groundwork all laid out. FPX, 11-2-7. That was a four. Almost all of them here. It's a three versus three. The lockdown's now being invested because the spike was heard dropped out into the open. And look how FPX scattered to the oh. far reaches. Nishot just completely on his own looking to try and contest the outside. They're trying to force the fights instead of reinforce their position. We this has devolved this. into a bizarre round. FBX had the spike down, had mid control, and now they have no idea where EG are. Not a clue. I said earlier, Josh, you know, I wanted to see a bit more silliness. I found it. At this point, this round is all over the place. But just after FBX had won four rounds timing, in a row, it? it's all time. just walked up through all the way down. He's distracted by the sound cue. But Jorgamo falls. Two versus two. They know where Lysaur is. Do they choose to go into him? Anything to clear this? Oh, it's not quite. And the trade, well, it's on time. But Demon 1 versus Aang. Time definitely against him. We'll be able to get that plant down, though. The position is not there to try and deny. So an extension of it into the round here. Updraft up top. And Demon 1 is eager for it. Trying to take the jewel, but fully blinded up. Narrowly avoiding 70 health to his name. A slight tap, but Demon 1's too good. It's 12 to 8. Took a lot to get them there. Same U-Tool that's being used here. The drone into a main. A bit of a flash clearance. Hunter's Fury. That's a huge tag. Damage definitely being done. And there's the impetus. The push attempt. EG to putting the squeeze entirely on them. Bullet. He's got the timing. He's into a main as well. They don't have a clue. Inside the smoke. Patience is shown for just a moment. Here's the orb. Comb returns fire. And the trade online. EG with a massive player advantage now. And this should be the finisher. Lysor and Yukor got it all to do in the 2v4. Two players stuck at default. Spotting they out. Make anything of that? Through into main, Yukor missing his shot. They'd have to just cleave down multiple of them, find these openings. However, they can. Demon One's repositioned, and yep, facing it all together. 13 to 8. Scoreline for man number two. Not the cleanest of affairs for EG, but it does get them that match win. Of course, when Bustio was saying earlier they were going to get eight, he of course meant 13 8, 13 8. Yeah, that's each map. Yes, uh, of course. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. the first round of this has gone Bustio 1 China 0, but.